Hello and welcome back to our channel. I'm Danish, and you are watching Iraqi Dinar YouTube channel. Hopefully you all will be fine let's start today. Iraqi Dinar Investment News has recently focused on critical insights shared by Intel guru MN Goat regarding the anticipated currency reform process. According to MN Goat, all necessary preparations have been meticulously completed for advancing with the currency reform. The Central Bank of Iraq, CBI, has laid out a comprehensive and clear path forward, outlining each step with precision to ensure a smooth transition. Investors, both local and international, are now in a crucial waiting period, eagerly anticipating the next moves that could significantly impact Iraq's economic landscape. The next critical step involves a slight revaluation of the dinar within Iraq which is expected to bring its value just over a dollar. This initial revaluation is a monumental move, marking the beginning of a series of significant changes. It is designed to set the stage for the subsequent and highly pivotal phase known as the project to delete the zeros. This project is not merely a technical adjustment but a comprehensive overhaul of the Iraqi currency system. The project to delete the zeros is a cornerstone of the reform process, involving the systematic swapping out of the existing currency for new denominations. This action effectively removes three zeros from the currency notes, a move intended to simplify financial transactions, curb inflation, and stabilize the economy. The rationale behind this is to enhance the usability of the currency in everyday transactions and improve the overall efficiency of the financial system. During this period, the CBI plans to closely monitor the economic landscape for any signs of inflationary pressure. This monitoring phase is crucial to ensure that the currency reform does not inadvertently trigger economic instability. The CBI's strategy includes using various economic indicators and models to predict and mitigate any potential adverse effects. By doing so, they aim to create a stable environment that supports economic growth and development. Once the CBI is confident that the revaluation and currency swap have been successfully implemented without causing undue inflation, the next major step is to reinstate the Iraqi dinar on the international foreign exchange market, also known as Forex. Reinstating the dinar on Forex is a monumental move as it reintroduces the currency to the global trading system allowing it to be traded alongside other major currencies. This reinstatement is not just about returning to the market but also about setting a new and stable value for the dinar, which is crucial for fostering investor confidence and economic stability. MN Goat highlights that when the dinar is reinstated on Forex, the International Monetary Fund, IMF, has plans to place it in a new peg within a basket of currencies. This basket approach aims to stabilize the dinar's value by linking it to a group of stronger, more stable currencies. This begging mechanism is designed to provide a buffer against extreme fluctuations, ensuring a more predictable and stable exchange rate for the dinar. This method has been used successfully in other countries and is seen as a way to protect the dinar from speculative attacks and volatile swings. The IMF intends to allow the dinar to float within this basket, meaning its value will be determined by market forces to a certain extent, providing flexibility and responsiveness to economic conditions. This floating mechanism allows the currency to adjust naturally to supply and demand dynamics reflecting the true economic conditions of Iraq. It also enables the CBI to implement monetary policies that can further stabilize the economy and promote sustainable growth. MN Goat points out that this entire process is currently experiencing delays. The revaluation and subsequent steps should have been accomplished in June, but progress has been stalled. MN Goat attributes this delay to the United States suggesting that U.S. authorities are holding up the process. The reasons behind this stalling are not entirely clear, but it has caused frustration among investors and those eagerly awaiting the currency reform. The geopolitical and economic interests of the U.S. in the region may play a role, but without clear communication, 
the specifics remain speculative. This update from MN Goat underscores the complexity and high stakes involved in the currency reform process. It highlights the meticulous planning by the CBI, the comprehensive monitoring strategies to prevent inflation, and the strategic moves to reintroduce the dinar to the global market. Despite the delays, the groundwork has been laid and the anticipation continues to build as investors and observers wait for the U.S. to greenlight the next steps in this critical economic reform. The eventual success of this reform could serve as a model for other countries facing similar economic challenges, demonstrating the importance of strategic planning, international cooperation, and economic resilience.